okay so as you know there is a rating assessment section in uh, the coaching shipyard limited interview stage so there is a weightage for writing assessment uh, writing assessment is a simple thing it is not ticklish but yes you need to take care of what you are writing there is a structure in what you write and you need to take care of the grammatical mistakes and your writing should be you know uh, uh, you should write very beautifully it should be readable it should be legible and uh, then your idea should flow and you have to follow that structure so now i'm going to share with you the write up of some of the students who are going for this coaching shipyard interview what mistakes are there and how much marks you will i will give you out of 10 that i'm going to share with you so let me share on the screen the write up uh, by rahul and i think rahul has uh, written uh, about learning during covid so that is the now this is the section which actually this is the topic which i gave to rahul learning during covid and he is to write on that so let me read sentence now uh, line wise line and tell you what are the mistakes in this okay so covid uh, learning during covid that is a topic which is uh, given and uh, let's see what is uh, how he has rahul has written on this particular topic yeah learning during covid is a topic covid the unexpected impact that struck the whole world now this sentence is not complete this is not the right sentence it is not complete sentence is a wrong grammatically covid the unexpected impact that struck the whole world is a wrong sentence uh, covid uh, is uh, covid in covid is uh, the pandemic which hit the world uh, in year 2022 2019 and had great impact in the world great impact globally something like that you have to say so the covid is the pandemic which hit the world couple of years back 2019 to be precise and created havoc in the uh, in, in the globe or created, created havoc in the world or created havoc world over something like that so sentence you have to make it it came by imparting imparting wrong spelling it came by imparting fear in us uh, that is uh, not the right sentence again it uh, led to lot of uh, problems uh, globally uh, it uh, there was numerous problems associated with the uh, numerous problems uh, were associated with this uh, pandemic or something like that you should have said but but a sentence does not start with but we gave our will power to cope up with this impact but we gave our will power that is a wrong sentence with the will power humanity not only has overcome the problems uh, during covid but we are adapting fast to this uh, global uh, issue or global pandemic this involvement of us in pandemic gave us new lessons that is also uh, sentence is wrong Uh, the adaptability during covid taught us many new lessons every adversity uh, uh, has the opportunities in it the humanity learned uh, many lessons uh, every good experience or bad experience has lessons in it and this bad experience also taught us many lessons each person got new lessons each organizations and each nations again the wrong sentence so this entire thing uh, you have written wrong sentences and the uh, sentences are not complete grammatically they are wrong and out of place also there is no organization also so the learning which we had uh, during this bad phase of covid can be categorized into learning at individual level at organization level national level society level the moment you give the direction here you are trying to give the direction the moment you give the direction then you can in the paragraph talk about those at individual level what is the learning at organization level what is the learning something like that most important lesson each one of us learned is about value of freedom that looks like okay sentence we were pushed to restrict ourselves from society wrong sentence so we were our freedom of movement was restricted lockdown period was something which we never saw in the past this taught us the importance of freedom in life which we take granted we started to practice new living like wearing mask sanitization hand uh, this this is so uh, the learning at individual level was uh, we started following the covid protocols we started realizing the importance of cleanliness wearing mask sanitization etc 
economy economy started to fall drastically so the it sector introduced now you should have started this from the new paragraph because individual level learning is over now you're talking about economy and you're talking about it sector uh, a new atmosphere work from home this has to be new paragraph so whenever you change the theme of talking you change the paragraph it should be new paragraph work from home is the new learning for organization not individual level organization work from home you are working for organization so that is a new learning for organization at organization level the most important learning was how to adapt how to run the business how to keep running the operations so work from home was a new learning for organizations many organization including it sector kept on booming during covid in fact they could save their rent and they could uh, make the resource optimization during covid era so that was a new learning for them uh, each and every individual get time to analyze themselves and uh, so individual level pay this is one learning another level learning is you know values of uh, being close family values and all that is also in, uh, your learning at the individual level covid pushed our india to digitally equipped country so that is also wrong uh, uh, statement so that is not a right grammatically uh, at the national level we uh, the country national level the government learned the importance of digital digi digitalization you know we have uh, this uh, new apps which government had developed new apps uh, during the time of covid when we felt the need of you know online uh, platforms like zoom and all so government uh, you know the mode of socialization changed so we started um, interacting and socializing on zoom or uh, whatsapp on instagram something like that so government also realized the importance of digitalization so that was learning at the government level the government also realized the importance of uh, public health so how to increase the public health infrastructure that was a learning to government covid catalyzed the implementation of all it oriented schemes rapidly so uh, boom to it sector and digitalization of the services and uh, good governance and role of digitalization in good governance was the learning each country understood how important is its citizen and their contribution to gdp so that is uh, basically not a very good statement covid taught country to focus on basic needs like food agriculture yes at the national level we realized the importance of having you know a social support system whether it is a problem of migrants from which we learned many things or creating the rural economy india is a largely rural country even now india lives in villages after so many years of independence so how to provide employment to people in village itself that is something which we learned at national level when we saw the problem of migrants uh, uh, shifting from one uh, part of country to another yes covid came as a crisis uh, covid came as a crisis and uh, but we human faced it fearlessly and we enhanced our capabilities more than before pandemic every hit is worth of learning we as human will endeavor new paths after pandemic so you tried to complete it on the positive note but yes the statements were not correct uh, yes covid was a uh, covid is a crisis we are still in middle of this crisis covid is a pandemic and it is a global problem but human being is fast adapting and uh, as a species uh, as we know survival of fittest as a species human being will not only overcome this problem but will learn many things from this and that is what we are doing so every adversity every problem is an opportunity to learn new things and adapt in a better way so uh, there are so many learnings we had from covid and uh, at individual level organization level and national level we need to implement these learnings uh, to make our life better in future at the environmental level also we learned many things so that everything you mentioned here and the things at the positive notes so i will give you four out of 10 rahul for this write up which you have done and you need to score a minimum seven out of 10 where you can say thus yes your writings are good improve your handwriting improve the uh, structure as i told you how the structure should flow and sentences should be simple but correct grammatically wrong sentences will uh, not fetch any marks so to get good marks what you should do is stick around the topic first think what the topic is and then write that in simple english don't make long sentences short sentences but uh, accurate sentences that is what you should do hope you understood this uh, this particular write up and keep watching other 
topics also and my feedback to other topics